fence in not too long ago so now I've planted a couple more to fill in this area. Look at that one. Oh that's a that's a beautiful white rose right here. Cool. And then right here is a beautiful red rose. Right here. As you can see these roses are just but now baby. So, alright, here we go. We're gonna go up this way first, around the back, the north side of the house. Everything is, everything is looking awesome. There we go. The grapevine is starting to bud out. Can't remember what those are called, but they're looking cool too. Okay, here we go. That's just amazing there. Beautiful. Okay. There's a there's a seven foot high rose right there. Some other ones down below. I think I counted them. I think there's like 70 roses in this yard, so some miniature roses there. These are always cool. These white ones and these purple ones come up, and right over behind that picnic table, there's another set of white and purple, but we'll get over there in a minute. Okay, here's the backyard. The swing. I spend a lot of time in the swing. Okay, so there's the corkscrew willow. I got me a new little eight foot electric pole saw, chainsaw, and I was able to cut that, that corkscrew willow down in a few hours. I know, well, whatever. <laughs> There, that is a sequoia pine tree. Cool. Alright, so anyway, here we go. Let's go down this side first. Many roses, other flowers, irrigation box. These are all miniature roses. See this one? I've got the string around. There's six of them here. There's six roses here. And I'm gonna be be moving these two these two middle ones over here give them all a little bit more room to bloom speaking of blooming flowers right there I mean, tulips there's my mom I made this sign for my mom she was she was the master gardener secretary for many years here in town caregiver for my mother. She is going to be 90 next month. Later stages of dementia. Physically deteriorating. And me and my brother take care of her full time. Big time job. Big time job. You can see the lilacs are some major lilac bushes. They'll be coming home right over there. There's some purple lilacs that are already blooming. So. Alright. Got a bird bath 
right there. Feeder. Got many bird feeders around. Another one right over there. Another bird bath is more like a bird water hole, but back in the corner there's some ferns. Just now getting all the leaves and stuff out of most of the gardens. It's been a chore. Had our nastiest winter ever, probably for like the last 30 or 40 years. Snow for like four months. But now we're coming back out of it, so. Let me turn around and show you the house and everything from this angle. Of the house. That's where we just came from. Uh, there's Chopper the dog over there. Uh, I don't see Rex over here yet. <clears throat> Things are definitely greening up. But by the end of this summer, this whole thing will be six feet high. A lot of it. Corkscrew willow. That thing grew like a weed, so I really chopped it back this year. More tall roses, more miniature roses. Roses, roses everywhere. Might have a little one right there. These are taller than me, so close to seven feet. <laughs> It's, it's actually pretty flat when you get out by the street, so that's the main thing. Okay, we got some, some of those purple lil lilacs already blooming. And the white ones, they're just a little bit later. So, okay, cruising around, cruising around. Wood tree right there that's in bloom. Not in bloom but in bud. Right over there by the barbecue is my meditation pad. I get out, I try to get out here every day and usually at night. Here's the main garden, got some herbs. This winter was so nasty. Look at here. These grasses, all they're brown. Oh, some green coming up though. I didn't pull. Well, that's nasty there, but all those grasses died. The winter was so hard. There's my meditation pad right beside the barbecue. Anyway, I'll clean this all out. There'll be these are these are teasel. This is what they look like when after they bloom and they're really prickly. They got tons of seeds. A bunch of teasel, a bunch of sunflowers. Clean that out when they get a little bit bigger. Okay. Cool. Nice trellis. Okay, so now I'm on my meditation pad. This is what I look at. Street right out there. Everything is awesome, man. Here's the swing. Spend a lot of time in this when it's decent, which is about nine months out of the year. This year, not going to be that much, but all the pots haven't even got flowers in them yet. It's still early, and we were freezing just a couple weeks ago, so this is my, this, this honeysuckle right here, check the pot it was in, <laughs> obviously it popped out the bottom, but that was the way it was, 
when my mom moved in here 17 years ago. And this, right over there, that's one of the most awesome clematis you'll ever see. It's, it's as big as your hand and purple, light, light purple. And this is a red honeysuckle. I've never seen one before, but... The, anyway, this honeysuckle was here. There was a, there was a baby, baby one growing up right there. And there was another baby growing up from this huge honeysuckle out here. Anyway, that baby was growing up somewhere in here. I transplanted, I transplanted two, if not three, honeysuckles right there. It was probably six, seven years ago, anyway. Now, that's a full mature tree, but this is where it's cool. It's coming across, I'm training it across. This is my honeysuckle archway right there. <clears throat> honeysuckle archway, when that fills in, it'll be, starts getting the green on it. Back. More. Got the steel cat. I go up the stairs here. This is what I look at when I come out the back door. Okay, so anyway, more miniature roses over here. Things are definitely blooming out. It's pretty barren about three, three, four weeks ago. There's another. Clematis right here. Here's the sticker for it. <sighs> Niobe. Niobe Clematis. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, really, really dark purple there, so. Okay. So, if you've been to MikeTheGardener.net before, you've already seen some pictures of the Monster Rose. I cut this way back last year in the fall, or this spring, and it's, all, it's still 12 feet tall. Uh, 11. 11 is a roof, but it's over the roof. So, tons of roses through here. walking around being silly so got three trees here one two three and then a big old butterfly bush down the end but look at that thing budding out up until yesterday this driveway was still covered with uh, a bunch of the clippings well there's there's the big stuff that was too hard with the hand clippers, so I got to get my chainsaw out. But I'm doing all kinds of stuff. It's a beautiful day right now. A little over 50 on the fence, but it's probably 60, 55. It's another bird feeding station. A couple of feeders, water. Right there in the end. That's it large butterfly bush. Got that from my brother's wife. There's another, another 
from Mattis it goes up the whole side of the house. Oh yeah. Monster Monster Rose is starting to blossom, baby. All the roses looking good. This one, this is how hard the winter was. This one killed most of that rose. A little bit of green right down in there, so it's still live. I'll have to trim a bunch of that out, but there's a couple of roses like that. Here I got a couple of, uh, here's a, that's a pretty cool piece too, but this is really awesome. Check this out. This is off the corkscrew willow. That's an actual corkscrew right there. But anyway, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, this is all, this is all volunteer. Well, some of this stuff, but it's all just growing there already, so. Smoke tree on the yard. Oh yeah, there's the butterfly bush. That was sent to, sent to us in the mail. In a little tiny box, it was like six inches tall. Front yard. Got some in all four sections of this fence are these. Planted, I planted all these, this ivy in there. But right now, got some tulips blooming, baby. MikeTheGardener.net. Don't forget the net. Also have some other websites you need to check out. MikeTheSecret.com. Over a hundred health and wellness techniques to help you live a better day every day. Breathing, meditation, exercises, mind and mental tricks and techniques, all kinds of stuff. If it has anything to do with health or wealth, you can find it. Also, totally-health.com totally-health.com all your health needs okay as you can see this is the that's the rose hedge right there and it's budding out pretty good start blooming okay ivy Thing is beautiful, man. This is one of my favorite times of the year. Summer probably being first, but spring next. And back down the north side of the house. Let's see, it's like 18 minutes, so that's not bad. Okay, so this is Mike from MikeTheGardener.net. MikeTheSeeker.com Totally-Health.com And my main website is GuyOfGoodness.com It's the hub to all my other websites. GuyOfGoodness.com Oh, by the way, I am the Guy of Goodness on the internet. Facebook.com forward slash Guy of Goodness Pinterest.com forward slash guy of goodness. Um, Twitter.com forward slash guy of goodness. Instagram.com forward slash guy of goodness. My email is guy of goodness at yahoo.com. I am the guy of goodness on the internet. Go, you can go check out all my sites at guyofgoodness.com. Have a good day.